Good morning. This is my third day here in Prague and today I'm going to the castle. And I'm going to take the metro, even though there's not very far, but it's uphill all the way, so I can see the castle, but I'm taking the metro. As you can see, they don't flaunt <laughs> about their metro stations. <laughs> I wouldn't even know this was a metro station if Google Maps didn't sell me. But let's go down and get a ticket. This is the same metro line, line A, as I came by when I came from the airport uh, three days ago. So now I just have to take it one stop towards the airport. Even though it was just one stop and only about one kilometer to walk, <laughs> it's all uphill. So that is why I take. So that is why I took the metro. Oh my God! There are cobblestones everywhere, and it's it's not easy to walk on, especially. If you don't have the right shoes on, so make sure you do that. The main ticket to visit this site is called Prague Castle. It gives you access to the old royal palace, St. George Basilica, Golden Lane, St. Vitus Cathedral. Perhaps you're wondering, is it worth a visit? Well, you can discover a time from the medieval era and you can see different kind of armor and weapons.
Golden Lane is a cozy and very photogenic street. Interesting stories linked to the houses which you can read on the signs. After 5 p.m. you can enter for free and there is no crowd, so you can take pictures in peace and quiet. But all the small houses will be closed. If you continue along the alley, you will reach the old prisons and the torture room. It is a beautiful, simple church in Romanski style compared to the cathedral next door. The present church is built on the ruins of the original church and inside you can find several original pieces that retell a bit of its history. And it is precisely this and the fact that this is the oldest building in Prague Castle that makes it so attractive. Oh my god. How beautiful is that? It is the biggest cathedral in the entire Czech Republic and it is undoubtedly among the largest temples in the world and had its first stones laid over 600 years ago. You will also find the royal mausoleum where the royal crypt is located and members of the Czech royal family and patron saints are buried here including Sankt Vitus. It is a fascinating building that oozes of mystery and excitement and be prepared for a long queue if you want to go inside.
Your faith was strong, you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof, her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to a kitchen chair, she broke your throne and she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew the hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I've been here before, I know this room I've walked this floor, I used to live alone Before I knew you I've seen your flag on the marble arch Love is not a victory march It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah I didn't go into the old palace because I was getting hangry because I was hungry, I was tired, I was hot, and there were so many tourists. And I also had to see the change of guards. And now, now it's time for the changing of the guards. It takes place in the first courtyard of Prague Castle, in front of the royal palace. And the changing of the guards takes place at noon. <laughs>
I think I spent about three or four hours here and I'm sure you could use several more hours if you want to see everything. This was it for the Royal Palace. So now, now it's time for lunch. And after that I will go to St. Nicholas Church, Wallstein Garden and see some peacocks. And I will end up in the Old Town City Hall Square by night. So I'll see you there. Bye! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.